Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi everybody, welcome. Quick box, but well, quick kit review, shall I say? Now this is the Zvesta. Uh, it's the Terminator. It's a Russian fire support combat vehicle. Would you believe? In 135th scale, and the uh, box number is 3636. Right, I don't know too much about it. I am just starting to uh, watch a few videos on YouTube. So, if you're interested, there's lots of good videos out there about the Terminator. This is the Terminator Mark, well, Mark 1. Ooh, try saying that with these teeth. It's made by Zvesta. Yes, I know. I'm doing a Zvesta kit. Well, I've had that much aggravation with uh, Dragon. I thought I'd give the opposition a chance. Right. Now, I purchased this offline, off eBay, at a, a extortionate price of 16 quid, would you believe? 16 quid for this. So, a very, very cheap kit. Uh, box, box art. Quite nice, Zvesta. Uh, Dump on the side. It's all in Russian, which I can't read, but I can read. There's 415 parts, which is quite a lot, really. A uh, little bit of advertising on the far side. I think too much. And on the back, we have some photographs of the actual vehicle assembled, which looks pretty cool. Now. I have not broken the seals on this, so I've not even looked in it myself. As you can see, the seals are all intact, so we're going to break the seals. So I have my scalpel, and we'll cut that seal just to prove it that that seal is is fixed. So. Right, out of box, in a box, cardboard box, how do we get into this? My mate John, up, ah, is that it? And there we go. And opening it up, you got a lot of plastic in there, a lot of plastic. Uh, we've got two in that one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight sprues all together, and we also got some clear parts, piece of rope, and two pieces of netting, one coarse and one fine. We also have a destruction book, and the destruction book is in pamphlet form. Great, I like pamphlet forms. And also, right at the bottom of the box, we've got some gump which I'm not really interested in. So we'll close the box. I'll put you on pause and we'll start. Okay, we'll start with the workshop manual. Not a great deal. Pamphlet form, which I do love. Uh, there's a little bit of English there, not much. A little drawing at the bottom here uh, showing you that you can have the, the hatches either closed or open. Now, as we go along, I will tell you the very little I know about this vehicle. So, to kick off with, the first two pages are taken up with the sprue maps, which are nicely set out, which you can see clearly everything. There is some light pieces. It makes a difference between light and blue, but there you go. I gather these are the parts that we don't use, which is a very, very few. There's not many there, which is good. So, quite happy with that. Now, there's 30 steps altogether in this uh manual now i'm going to run through everything about what's going on because i don't really know because this is the reason why they give the instructions so you could assemble it and i don't know a great deal about this vehicle like i said i am still uh, reading up about it and watching different videos but i can tell you a little bit as we go right we've got the upper hull all the bits going on uh we've got the small turret that houses the well, holds, should I say, because it doesn't house it, it sits on top of this, uh, the actual rocket launchers and that. 
this has actually got two 30 chain gun guns on it shooty things at the front and also it carries four uh, anti-tank missiles which is uh, pretty lethal uh, still on the upper hull the turret going in down to the lower hull the lower hull is made up of it looks like about five parts there we can't have everything uh, then we're moving across the suspension the inner road wheels because we've got inner and outer road wheels because this chassis is the t72 they just took the chassis and then they bolted this bit the turret or the weapon weapons on top of it and they did it because they got their asses kicked in a few urban areas uh, where they found their tanks couldn't actually uh, target the rebels with these rpgs and that and they had a lot of vehicles taken out and this was the answer to it but the russian army never never actually bought it they implemented it and got it all up and running but they didn't actually buy them they actually sold them to other countries which is another matter now uh lincoln length tracks okay not my favorite but i will keep my opinions to myself until i actually build it uh side skirts all the targeting system and everything else is going on here showing you the hatches can be opened or closed i'll be interested when we actually build it to see how that actually works nicely laid out that's that's, oh, that's the thing i can say about it it's nicely presented to you it's very understandable which i do like not like dragon where they show you one thing and mean something totally different now uh coming up to the last two pages now we've got the uh two i think they're 30s going on guns i know also this has got like i said earlier uh anti-tank missiles it's also got the grenade launchers which it had two in the front now on the mark two they did away with them and the mark one could designate three targets at a time where the mark two can only designate one target so they've sort of like uh, give this has got more things than the mark two and the mark two's got more than mark one if you know what i mean but there's got some great videos out there guys go out and uh type it type this in and there's some great videos all about it uh on to the last page now we're just looking at the camouflage scheme we've got the call outs in humble uh not too bad they can be transferred because they're straight colors red brown khaki dark green so they can be transferred over to other makes camouflage patterns they've got some pretty i've got, I've got some nice ones here uh greg riley he would love this one at the bottom because he could use his crazy putty uh to do this camo scheme well could, um, that one and that one and that one and that one but the one i like i like quite like this block jagged one which i think that's the one i'm going to go with yes i'm going to go with that one right enough of that rubbish let's get down to the nitty gritty and we'll have okay, a look okay let's get on with what we came here to have a look at the parts now don't ask me to name too many of them because i don't know but i will name what i can okay we've got one of the side skirts here which i know that is very well detailed nice and clean uh no more you can say about it we have uh, some hatches here which have actually got the like checker plate finish to them which is really nice everything is nice and clean there is no flash at all as I can see and everything is beautifully detailed it really is surprising it really has surprised me uh, my opinions of uh, Zivesta is changing parts as you can see look all have been clean nicely detailed and the detail is is really crisp and sharp yeah that's the first sprue we'll put that down there uh, second sprue 
is, we'll start, turn it that way, the upper hull, all nicely detailed. Uh, I know there's a lot that gets actually bolted onto this, there's a lot of boxes and good knows what else, so uh, what parts are showing, they're nicely detailed, it's lovely and clean, there is no problems at all with that, all the handles and everything is nicely done, even the underneath, you know, <laughs> all the detail in there is there, if it is there, but uh, I would say they would put what should be there, uh, I think that's part of the bolt on like boxes and good knows what else that go on the side of this vehicle. Uh, underneath, uh, injector mark pins, which you get on all kits. Don't know what kit you buy, you get them. Now, uh, there's two of these sprues, so I'll put that other one down. There's no point of looking at both of them, we'll just look at one. Uh, We've got the road wheels, all small bits and pieces, no flash at all, as I can see. I will turn this over in a second. The tracks, they look okay. I have noticed that the way you've actually fits the track itself, it's already got the uh, sag already put into it, which is pretty cool. Let's turn that over. And you can see in that one there, the wheels look all nice, they do look nice. Actually, I'm looking forward now to building this because all the parts look nice. And I think what we'll do as well, I'll do a build log as we go along with this because uh, this has interested me quite a lot. Now, I did notice there's quite a lot of uh, injector mark pins there and but all this is going to be covered with the side skirts, so uh, not to worry, I suppose. Detailing is still good, though. Uh, we're looking at the back of this. Detailing is still good on the tracks, on the guide horns. It is really nicely done. It really is. Just to quickly turn that over. The tracks look really good as well. How it's going to clean up from the sprue gates, well, we'll find that out as we as we build it. Like I say, the plastic doesn't feel cheap. It feels reason. It feels good quality plastic, actually, or styrene, should we call it? But all in all, really nice. I'm impressed with that. Uh, we'll start there. Uh, these are the covers that go around the two guns and they've got a nice fit finish to them. They really look like the canvas, nicely done. The turret, all nicely detailed. You can't grumble at the detailing on this. Not for the price of the kit. I think they've done extremely well. But we will see what it's like when we get it all together. So all in all, Pretty cool. I'm happy. Happy now. Uh, there's two of these sprues, so we'll only bother looking at one of them. Uh, these are the uh, rocket holders, should I say. Uh, a couple of hatches. Hatches. Try saying that with these two. The detailing is nice. Nice and clean. No flash. What more could you ask for? So that's the end of the sprues and all we've got left now because there isn't no decals 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 transfers or stickers with this there's nothing at all so there cannot have been any on it so we have one sprue with clear parts on uh what can you say about clear parts they're clear that's it we also have two pieces of netting we have one fine and one coarse, which we'll come to find out what they're for later on when we do the build. And one piece of thread for a tow rope, which I will throw in the bin and I will twist my own. But all in all, a very impressive kit as so far. I will do a build log on this as we go. And all I can say now, thank you very much for joining me and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.